So now that we have our project set up, we are ready to install Tonal.js. But uh, before we do that, I want to take a look at the different things, the different ways you can uh, install it. So if you go to the, the GitHub page for it, github.com.tonal.js, not dot, but github.com slash tonal.js slash tonal, you can uh, see all the different ways. You can see something about it, that tonal is a music theory library. It contains functions to manipulate tonal elements of music note interval chord scales and modes and keys and things like that so there are different ways to install it but we're going to be using npm in our case uh, the first way is to install all of the different modules uh, but we're not doing that because we're not using all of the different modules so there is really no reason to do that um, so we will be installing them individually instead but you can also get the minified browser ready version and install it just linked to um, to a JavaScript to a minified JavaScript file but there's no reason for us to do that either because we already set up the, the project and we're using um, npm to install the different packages individually but that's just so you know that that's an that's an option so let's have a look at how we install this stuff individually so what are we going to install first? Well, there are so many different packages. Uh, if you go up here and you click on packages, you can see, let me just zoom in a little bit here. You can see all of the different packages that, uh, that we can use. And in our case, we're going to be using the tonal. That's like the basic package, the base package. And we're going to be using the chord too. Uh, we might move on and uh, use the scale package as well but let's see first of all if you click on the tonal here that package you can see what what that one does and that's the first one we are going to uh, to install so let's install that first to our project and uh, we can go back to the to the docs and uh, read about how to how to use it later on so if you go back into your project and Let's open a new terminal. You can do that by clicking on the plus sign down here. Then we get a new per terminal window, and then you can switch between the two terminals that we have open now. But uh, we're already in the in the folder, so let's install the tonal package. So I will go npm install, and it is as far as I remember, it's called tonal js slash tonal let's try that and it is installing so it says added one package from one contributor and audited one package in 3.2 seconds if we go into our package json file we can see that it has been added to the dependencies here so what we have installed now is actually it is this basic package tonal and if we have a look at the api well first of all we can we can see that it exports four functions um, two of them convert strings strings into data structures so that's note and interval and the other two manipulates notes and intervals um, so let's try it out and see what happens go back to our project here and in order to use in order to use it we need to import it so first of all i'm going to delete this console lock hello universe and we are going to import let's first try the note package and we're going to import that from it already it's ready for us here so let's do that and just for testing this um, we can try to console log tonal no sorry console log note and we're gonna pass it a string and let's just pass it a C because that's a note and I'm going to save this and go back to the to the project here. And in the console, we can see that we actually get some data here. 
So let's talk a little bit about the data we get from this. If we go back to the docs, we can see, so first of all, node is the function or the method that we uh, imported right here. And it will export, it'll give you, you can, uh, you can pass a string to it. You can uh, give it the node name and you can give it the octave. And then you'll get some different information back. So let's go back to our own project. And I already console log node C. Let's go to the browser and see what we actually got here. So the first property we get is uh, empty. So that's a Boolean. So if it's uh, if it's not empty, it would be false. So we actually put something into that and uh, Tonal actually understood what we tried to say. It ACC, that's accidentals. So that would be sharp or flats. Um, and there are many different things that we can get information about here. You can see the letter is C. You can get uh, the MIDI. We don't have a MIDI number on it right now because we didn't uh, provide an octave. The name is C. And uh, yeah, there are many different things that we can get from that. I'm not going to get into all of it because uh, we're not going to be using all of it. But let's go back to our code and change this. Let's uh, give it an octave. Let's say it's C4. I'm going to save this and go back to the browser. Let's open up this object again. And now we can see it's a little bit different. We uh, got um, before we didn't have an OCT octave property, and that's of course octave. Um, we didn't get a MIDI number either. Now we have a MIDI number that's 60. So that's going to be um, helpful in the future. We can also see that uh, this one is an empty string, the accidentals. So let's try and change. Um, let's say that we want an A flat four. Gonna save that and go back. And now we can see we have an accidental and that is a, a flat. If I uh, use a sharp, let's say we want to see sharp three, save that and go back. It will be sharp. And it actually also supports if we have double sharps, like something like this, C double sharp three, you will get uh, this as the accidental value. So that's basically how it works. We can also go back and check out what other functions we can export from this package. And um, interval is another one that uh, that takes a string as an argument. So let's check that one out. Let's go and also import interval. That's basically the same thing. You can input, uh, you can pass a string, an interval string to it and get some information about that interval. So let's go back and have a look at that. We can uh, we can see here if we scroll down to interval, you can pass it a um, a name like uh, like this and get some information about it. So let's try and do that. Uh, I already imported it here, so let's uh, let's just make it my interval and let's make it a um and let's give it oops uh, five p like a perfect fifth and then let's try and console log that just like that and see what happens let's go back here and we get some information here so it's uh, it's not empty. The name is 5P. It has a number of five, and it's uh, the quality. I think it is is uh, perfectible, as you can see here as well. And semitones, it's seven half half tones, half notes. So yeah, you get an object with a lot of different information about this, as well as the other one we checked out before. So another method we can get from this is transpose, and we're going to be using that later on as well. So let's import that as well transpose and if we go back to the github page for that we can see that you can pass it two arguments you can pass it two strings first of all and the first one is the note and then you give it the interval that you want to transpose by so let's try and do that let's just copy this one and see what happens 
Just going to get rid of all of this here. Just comment it out. And let's console log this. Oops. This should work. And go back here. And we get an F sharp 3. So that makes sense. Um, you pass it a D3, and then, then you uh, transpose it by a major third. So uh, you will get F sharp 3. So that's basically how it works. And I'll recommend you to go and, uh, and check out the documentation here um, and learn about it. So now we had a look at three different methods that we imported from Tonal, but we also need to have a look at the chords because we're going to need some information about different chords to make this little project. And for that, we will need to install the chord package. Um, if I go back here, oops, that's not the right place here. And I go into packages. I can see that there's one called chord. And in the same way you can read about, you can see the documentation and read about how it works. But let's try and install that first. So let's go back to the terminal and npm install tonal js slash chord. I'm going to wait for that to install. There we go. And then we should be able to import it as well. chord from tonal js chord and then we can go back and check out how it works so you just pass uh, a string to it and then you get all different kinds of information so let's try this uh, c major 7 Let's try to console log that. I'm just going to get rid of all of this here and I'm going to comment this out. There's no reason for that to be imported right now. So console log chord and mm -mm, let's pass it to C major 7. Save that. And we get an object again again we can see it's not empty we can see the name of it is c major seventh um, and we can see what intervals it consists of um, a unison a major third a perfect fifth and a major seventh we can see the quality quality of the chord is major and you can see different aliases um, m a j seven triangle here just different ways of uh, of writing this chord of referring to this chord and you can see the notes that are in it here. We can try and change that to let's let's make it a a flat major seventh. Save that, and we'll get a flat major seventh. We'll get the the intervals, which will be the same again, but this time the the notes will be different. So that's how we can get information about chords.